Okay guys, just to give you a little bit of an update on our biomass boiler. Um, before Christmas, if you remember, we had this running uh, for a little bit of a brief period. It then went down because some of the controls in this boiler weren't wired up correctly. I got it wired up correctly. And then we had a very frosty period and we had a bit of a disaster. The heat exchange, which is outside, burst. And the reason for that, there was no, no glycol put into the system. Uh, the guy who originally did the whole system said, when I called him about it, he said, oh, that was your fault because you removed the buffer tank. Uh, originally, I was going to put a buffer tank. He had suggested putting a buffer tank in there. Another guy who quoted said, you don't need a buffer tank. So I thought, oh, I'll save a little bit of money on the buffer bank. Um, and on that cold night, I hadn't set up the fans correctly, so they're still pulling cold air across the heat exchanger. And when I came back in the morning, it had frosted up. The boiler had gone down, as always, and, uh, and it had pulled cold air across the heat exchanger and it burst. Um, so I'll show you a little video of that. And it is. Anyway, that's what happened. And we've sat here for about two months waiting to try and get it going because there was a Christmas break, trying to find someone who would do it, who would uh, adjust the system. Um, I've actually gone back to the original person who I had two quotes from and he's coming and helping us now to try and mend um, the, 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 the radiator basically uh, or the heat exchange unit which is sitting outside. Uh, I still disagree with the guy who originally said that it would have been fine if we had a buffer vessel and a, uh, and a fan there. I always think for anything outdoors you want to put glycol in the system and I just can't believe that he didn't. He, the other thing he didn't say, and this is a bit of a rant, is he didn't really specify to me that I needed that buffer vessel or the fan absolutely working. Um, he just didn't highlight to me. He just sort of followed my orders. So I just sort of find it very odd. So I said to him, I'm a complete learner on this. Just hold my hand through this process. And he didn't seem to sort of give me any guidance at all on it. But anyway, that's the wine of the day. Uh, these things happen. Um, and hopefully we're going to get back on. The guys are slightly struggling outside to mend one of the... Uh, one of the coils where it goes back in, they just can't quite get access to it. So we'll see what happens. We may have to bypass that coil or, um, or try something else. But it's been a bit of a, a, bit of a bitch really, because you know, I've been, had a lot of orders for wood and this was meant to be lined up, to be going, to supporting the business and it just hasn't. Uh, but um, yeah, that's, that's life. It always seems to take, from when I got this boiler, which is back in May, I thought myself, I think I've given enough, myself enough time to get it ready for uh, the Christmas. But anyway, there you are, c'est la vie. That one down there, cause it's so close. Yeah, it's just causing problems, I suppose. One of the, as I said, the guy, I had a guy look who does refrigeration. He said you might be able to bypass it or something. He did spot that one as a problem. Yeah, yeah okay. This is the nozzle you want. Yeah. Probably have to stay Okay, just struggling there, as you can see, to get the mixture to your right, to get the flame burning. Um, so we'll leave him for a bit, come back, see how he's got on with those holes. Okay, yesterday we had the guys who have taken over commissioning the biomass boiler. Um, they were trying to solder, hash, braze up the holes um, in our heat exchanger. They didn't manage it, and they went away a bit empty-handed. But I did find these guys, uh, they're local to us in Kettering, uh, and they do um, a refrigeration units and it seems like it's much more their bag. So hopefully they're going to get uh, this fixed and be able to braise. He did come and have a look at the work yesterday and said, yeah, sort of hash that up a bit. Um, so hopefully I've got the guys who know. My final solution, if that doesn't work, is to, to dismount the heat exchange unit uh, from the fan and take it down to a place in Bedford that they said they might be able to do something although they didn't sound that great. And then the final option is I have to buy a new heat exchange unit. That's eight weeks wage and two and a half grand. So if I can find any way of quickly trying to braise up those holes, getting it patched up, I'm, I'm, I'm trying that first, basically. Okay, so just going around here. See if we can see where the leaks are. Yeah, I can see a few leaks there. This was really troublesome here yesterday for the guys, but it, it seemed to have done a good job of feeling that. Just, uh, let's see, got a couple more leaks, haven't we? There. Yeah, there's another one there, isn't it? There's this 
sweeping away. Yeah. Yeah, there's one coming from the So no more holes, and we put the system up to two bowls, and we'd like to see it get it warm, yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but they're just running the boiler, and there's a little bit of smoke coming out of there now. First time for us. Gosh, how long? A month and a half. Just started up, he's on fire. He's running. See the ones they've braised. I've done a good job on them and I can start to feel this is kind of warm now. So yeah, water's coming through. Because I've turned it on to auto, I've sent it back to water back at 60. The first is working there. Not particularly hard at the moment. And the guys are warming themselves up on the tubes. Okay guys, it's late night now. I don't know if you can see, I've got the bin on, hooked it up, the boiler's running. Um, just standing here in front of the hook lift trailer. So hopefully that is now going to run overnight. They've mended all the holes in the heat exchanger coil. That was a bit of a beast, two months of uh, waiting around almost. We'll see how far we go. I'm not counting any chickens yet because it ran for a couple of days before and then burst. So. They have put some glycol in this time, which is fantastic. Um, which I should have done, the other guys should have done when we first had this. Uh, but it's be, hopefully we're gonna run sweetly now and we can start to dry some product. And then the next thing is to get our RHI running, which is gonna be another challenge.